what's up? Oh. Hey, what's up, fellow model train enthusiasts? This is Lone Wolf 777 broadcasting from his home in California today. Uh, I got a big update for all of you on my model train projects, uh, stuff that I forgot to keep updating you on, and uh, the other things that I, I'm currently working on. <clears throat> so uh, right here we have a Santa Fe El Capitan uh, high-level passenger coach with a uh, drum, and basically it's... Uh, the El Capitan logo. Um, let me move this up a little more. I don't know if I can get all of that. Um, so uh, that's pretty much it right there. Uh, this does light up now. Uh, I'm still working on getting the right uh, color for this, for the drum itself. Um, the red light does work. That's separate. I managed to make that work. Uh, it's just this one right here that I have to worry about, and um, basically I have to find a way to light it up and then plug the whole thing in the back to where there's no light bleed, it doesn't look odd or anything, so that's going to be next. Uh, the light kits for these uh, particular cars have been ended by Walther's. Walther's used to make those particular light kits that go all the way into this car. Uh, so now i got to figure out how I'm going to do the whole lighting situation. Um, so that's going to be a little difficult, but I can figure that out. It's not a big deal. I'm not worried. This is the Santa Fe Dash 840BW. It is a four-truck wheel arrangement locomotive, as you can see here, meant for high-speed runs. Uh, I gave the number 550 to this locomotive, as you can see here. Uh, you can see some glue residue a little bit. Um, I didn't have that micro uh, scale crystal clear stuff that uh, acts as an adhesive or a glue of some sort uh, without making it look like it was glued on. Uh, next time I will do that, though. I will look into that before doing projects like this. But I'm happy. I installed LEDs. Uh, to the locomotive, such as the headlights, ditch lights, uh, the number boards, I refuse to light up. That's just too much of a hassle for me. Um, I installed KD couplers, uh, KD 158 couplers with whiskers, so that's pretty much it for this locomotive. Um, I have to get a decoder uh, that can handle the LED voltage, so that's next for this one. Uh, let's bring this one down. I basically am still working on this particular locomotive right here. This is the EMD F45 uh, Santa Fe number 1936 paint, uh, paint scheme pinstripe uh, or pinstripe paint scheme, whichever you want to call it. Um, I found only one photograph for the prototype itself, which is 1936. Um, and it had a strobe light, an Exion or a Xeon strobe light. Uh, let me turn it a little bit here so you can actually see the uh, strobe light. Uh, I had to really look into where the strobe light was placed, and it was placed pretty kind of well hidden a little bit in front of the locomotive, uh, like behind the horn area. Um, let me show you. As you can see, it's a little more towards the horn. I deduced uh, that after looking at the only photograph as much as possible, measuring it, and I could be wrong with the measurements, and I could be wrong where I placed it, but you know what? I'm not going to really do anything to change that back. That would take too much work already that's into this, so I'm just going to leave it as it is. It's already received LEDs for the headlight and the rear lights. Same here. Okay. Uh, I'm working on scratch building the handrails from steel, uh, from Atherin blue box kits that I have scrounged around. I'm painting the stanchion the blue, as in the photograph prototype. Uh, so this is going to be yellow right here. This whole handrail. Uh, you can see my toothpick moving. This is going to be yellow. This is going to be painted yellow. These are going to be blue. Uh, so that's pretty much more prototypical than I can hope for. 
Uh, I'm going to try to find a chain. If not, I'll just uh, take some cutting pliers and take the plastic ones off the other handrails and then glue them to this, and then it'll look realistic, I hope. That's what I'm hoping for. I installed a speaker inside the locomotive in the rear. Um, I also am planning on probably installing a sound speaker right here in the front because it has two areas that I can place them in. So I might do that. I might not. Uh, I'm going to get a Tsunami 2 EMD2 sound decoder uh, for this locomotive. I like those things. <clears throat> I also will continue to install PWRS Magnalock air brakes uh, hoses in this case, as you can see how flexible that is. That's a little tiny magnet right here that couples up to another Magnalock air hose and uh, makes it look more realistic. I don't know if you can see that too well, but uh, there's uh, brake air lines right here now from the brake cylinder. All the way to this brake cylinder, there's a little uh, piece of metal, round, solid round piece of metal that goes from here to here, just like on the prototype. So there you go. The LEDs I used for this locomotive were warm white. Um, so I tried to get these LEDs as realistic looking as possible for everybody to think that was the real thing, because it was. <clears throat> okay, so this one, I am doing the same exact thing. I'm modifying it to where it looks more realistic. Uh, these are brass wires um, that I have painted up to look like the uh, handrails on the locomotive, uh, as well as the stanchions. These are all scratch built. I'm still working on the paint a little bit here and there. Um, I need to install PWRS Mandalock air hose. An EMD2 sound decoder from Soundtrax. Uh, just a lot of stuff that's getting done. These were once black. I painted them Tima silver aluminum, uh, aluminum silver or whatever it's called. Again, I installed a speaker in the rear of the locomotive. I want to put one in the front, uh, so you just have that loud locomotive. But you know, whatever. This particular model is going to be modeled after the 70s, uh, excuse me, mid-70s to late 70s. Uh, so this locomotive is an FP45 EMD uh, Santa Fe yellow freight bonnet locomotive uh, with its headlight, Mars light, and beacon light retained. Um, I don't know if I'm going to install the uh, LEDs for the truck lights or stairwell lights because I don't know how many slots are going to be left after this installation. We'll see. Um, probably not a lot, so I'm just going to leave these number boards and marker lights and the truck lights and the step well lights unlit. Uh, so that's pretty much it. All right, that's it for that one. I also have to install uh, brake line air hoses to here to here on each, each part of the truck. So there's a lot more to be done. Okay, so <clears throat> there's a lot work. There's a lot more work for this one to be done. Um, this is 65% complete. Uh, it's getting there. I have PWRS Magnalock air hoses as well as the MU cable. Um, I got bright white LEDs for the ditch lights and the headlight. I installed a little cab figure as well. On the engineer side, I need to install the conductor and brakeman on the other side. At the rear of the locomotive, there's a 35 by 16 millimeter oval speaker inside of the rear of the housing of the you know radiator area. Uh, it goes back to the second fan right here. From here, that's it. Uh, Otherwise, it will interfere with the LEDs in the rear of the locomotive. So there's that. Again, this one's going to be getting a Soundtrax uh, Tsunami 2 generation decoder, uh, sound decoder. Uh, there's going to be MU control cables here and then a coupling cut lever here. Uh, 
much as I can. I'm going to try to form that as best as I can. Um, and then there's going to have to be some uh, breaking brake pipe details that go from here to here. And then I need to install the uh, Sinclair antenna right there, and we should be done. So there's quite a lot left to do to this locomotive. We're almost done. Um, it's, it just takes time. You have to order the right parts. You have to get the right size parts. You have to do so much to these locomotives, as well as any other piece of rolling stock in HO scale. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Comment, like, subscribe. If you've got any questions, throw them down in the comment section below. Uh, Lomo777 signing off. See you down the rails. Peace out.